Hello, I'm Julia Nogueira, and I will present the article Embed Mobile App in Prototyping. Although there are many approaches to usability, application evaluation, and design partner, the use of prototyping tools and methodologies for mobile device and application is still an incipient area due to the lack of consensus on methodological approaches. In the literature, there is growing adoption of anthropological methodologies for the analysis of human computer interaction. This reflects the HCI third wave, with the highlight the importance of observing the context and the ability to observe and analyze how the elements are related. The main objective of this study is to evaluate the applicability of the situated and embodied approach to carry out usability tests of mobile application. For this, a mobile application is called MobiCare was used. It will be possible to observe how using a postmodern and phenomenological approach allow us to extrapolate aspects usually observed by a Cartesian approach to usability evaluation. Digital ethnography was used, in particular the reenactment technique, combined with the qualitative research technique, such as same structure and unstructured interview. Now I will present the context and the MobiCare application. MobiCare is a platform for tracking the evolution monitoring disease symptoms and integrating information related to the clinical conditions of children with microcephaly. The participants are characterized by seven mothers aged between 28 and 39 years. Almost all of them have completed high school. The procedures were conducted individually. We used the situated approach because it was possible to follow the real routine, interaction and natural intervention that could only be observed in a similar context to capture the phenomena. Data analysis. As a result of data collection, they produce video, audio, and a screen capture. The first record is analyzed where the audio, in which they record the dialogues about the experience reconstructed in the situated environment. Then the video data record, the behavior and the body action of the participants during the interview and interaction with the prototyping. Finally, the screenshots provide further support for analyzing the effectiveness of the situated and body approach. Now we will start the result, the life context. Mother's Day starts very early. Most live in city far from Recife. Regarding the use of technological devices, the use of the cell phone was verified as the main alley to carry out various activities. During the interview, it was possible to observe the adherence to social networks, such as Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Now I will talk about use of mobile care. Observing how mothers use the current mobile care prototype, we can see that this use is usually conditional by the need to record the occurrence of a symptoms or a disease. It seems to induce user to only register negative symptoms. We can bring a negative memory with application and all communication functionality that could be done through the tool end up being registered outside the application. Another factor related to the contingence of symptoms record functionality was identified. Technical limitations could be found in the application. Because of this, it was possible to perceive that the participants developed a creative solution to overcome the number of characters. Another perceived functionality comprised notifications. It was common for applications to generate messages for various purposes. They usually help and encourage the use of the application. According to the mother's records, MobiCare does not have notifications and do it to the absence of those requirements. Now, I will talk about the description. Through the situated and body approach, it was possible to expand the limit of the date, traditional obtained by audio and understand the dynamics and the body experience in the face of the proposed situations. The observations made during the collection period, together with the records obtained through the interview, allowed us to understand a little about the participants' routine how they occur, facts that help in some extensions activities, which objects are present, and how they interact with them, what meaning they act through. In particular, we identify episodes in which the prototype did not meet essential needs and the mother's needs to improvise way that extrapolate what is offered. Understanding the aspect that made up the participants' daily life and context includes observing the interactional environment built by relationship and their subject characters. Here we have some reference that we use in our paper. 
end, we like to say thank you so much 